Welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a bit of a chill one. All right, so take a seat for this one. Get a nice partner, your favorite juice, cup of coffee, whatever you fancy. Now a lot of people have been asking me through the course of me doing these videos a lot of questions. Where did Lex come from? This, 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 and that. I can't take any more. So I thought a great opportunity to answer all these questions and for you guys to get to know me as well. What the hell is this? <laughs> what am I, a brick here? I thought it'd be a great opportunity for you guys to get to know me a bit more, me answer some questions. I thought it'd be fun. It's rainy today, guys. The weather has taken a turn in South Wales, but then again, it is South Wales. Now, I asked a lot of you on my social media, and I did go back and stoop a little bit low and get onto Ask FM as well, just to really get the anonymous bitches in there. But I was quite surprised. No abuse this time, guys, so thanks for that. So we have got a few questions here, guys, and I'm really looking forward to jumping in, seeing what we and having a bit of fun. Question number one. Where do you see yourself in five years? <sighs> I don't see myself leaving this house at the moment, love, with this lockdown. Honestly, I really don't know. I would like to think that I'd be successful, thriving, wiping my bum in, you know, 50 pound notes, but that's also like a generic answer. As long as I'm happy, as long as I've got food, I don't care. Question number two. Uh, can you remember when you came out in the drama office? <laughs> Okay, so just to fill you in, this is my old friend, Rachel. Rachel, you was the first sis that I told I was gay. So technically, you have got our title. Our drama teacher would lock us in the storeroom, literally, and be like, you're not leaving until you've read this script. Out of the blue, I just told her, I'm gay. And then she told the rest of the fucking school, so thanks for that, sis. Question number three, uh... Why do you think Chanel flew away? <laughs> do you know what? The owner of that parrot, Sandra... If you're watching, honey, you are the gay icon that none of us knew that we needed. Queen! Why she ran away, I'm not too sure, sis. Probably then grey roots. Chanel! Question number four. Would you rather be Carol Baskin's thong or Joe Exotic's toothbrush? I would love to be Carol Baskin's uh, juicy little leopard print G-string. I'd rather lock myself in a cage than be anything to do with Joe Exotic. So, Carol Baskin, <laughs> get on G-strings ready, sis. Question number five. Favourite celebrity mugshot. <laughs> These are my people, guys. These are my audience. It is, I gotta be honest with you, a toss-up between Paris and Lindsay. Only because Paris is literally giving you... Oh my god, I'm so rich. I don't need to be here. It's such an inconvenience, but I'll be pretty anyway. And then Lindsay has got a freaking back catalogue of mugshots. So I'd have to say Lindsay, especially the one where she's like, contoured the house down. It's question number six. Please do a workout tutorial video one day. P.S. I love you. Sorry, Katie Roberts, but that ain't the fucking question, honey. I'm going to be doing a video soon on my weight anyway. For all you guys who used to watch my Lex Gabor videos, you know my weight's been up and down the spectrum like no one's business. Will I throw a workout in there? Damn right, baby. I've always loved, like, those cheesy 80s, 90s, like, fitness instructors. It's just a perfect excuse to wear, like, those tiny shorts and be dancing. Come on. Debbie, you better move those bingo wings, sis, because you're not paying 65 quid to come to my class for sweet Debbie. Question number seven. What have you done to safeguard your mental health during the lockdown? Great question. Well, I've been trying to incorporate a lot of exercise. Emphasis on trying. So I've been trying to go out to jog, like, late at night when there's no one about. The one thing, I've got to be honest with you, that saved me throughout this lockdown, Wentworth. You need to get an Amazon Prime membership and binge watch Wentworth. It's the greatest Australian show ever. Worst accent ever. Take it down the fucking slot. Slaughter. Yep, so exercise, binge watching your favourite TV shows. And i got to be honest with you guys, the reverse of exercise, I'm just eating comfort food, which I do need to stop actually because I am piling on the pounds. Look at that. Look at that. Question number eight. How is Betty? Betty is... Okay, to fill you in, Betty is my border collie sheepdog. She's about 12 years of age at the moment. Betty, how old are you now, love? She's doing fine. She's actually calmed down over the years. When I used to film my old videos, she used to be this erratic, crazy cow, jumping in and out of shots. She's a bit more mellow these days, but she's great. She actually woke me up this morning with her disgusting, smelly tongue. <laughs> Do you love that when your dog wakes up first thing in the morning smelling a pair of shit like? Betty's doing good, she's doing fine, still annoying. Border collie sheep dogs, they are quite energetic and neurotic. 
Sounds familiar. Question number nine. What is it like being a barista? I gotta be honest with you, I love being a barista. Not to be mistaken for barista, because I'd be a fucking terrible barista. Coffee on tap, which is absolutely horrific for my non-existent IBS, but I feel like I've now got it because of this... <laughs> But I feel like I have got it now because I'm drinking so much coffee. Espresso shot, tired, espresso, espresso. I think that's probably the highlight. Just literally coffee on tap. If you fancy a nice little oat milk, flat white. Oh, stick a bit of vanilla in this, sis. I'm working that drive through for anyone who's come through my drive through You know, it's a good-ass experience. It's question number 10. What's the first thing you're going to do when the lockdown ends? Pelt down to Bristol to see my partner. I think this lockdown has really made us realise what we miss, what we love, what we hate. Question number 11. What made you come back to YouTube? I was thinking of coming back to YouTube um, a number of times, on and off. I stopped doing videos about 2015-16. Life just happens as it does. And then I was thinking, right, am I going to start this YouTube again? Do I become a mental health nurse? Do I go into nursing? Do I do this? Do I do that? So many ideas were in my head. I did not know what to do. And of course, everyone, including Alan, who used to edit all my videos and burp in the background. Cool burp. <laughs> They would always nag me, you need to do YouTube, you need to. So I thought, better, let's get back on it. It's question number 12. I'm not going to lie to you. How did you create Lex Gabor? The name, first of all, came from a porn star name generator. Do you know those websites where you're like, Ooh, what would my porn star name be? Um, and it's not that crap, your first, the name of your first pet in the name of your street. I'm going through the proper channels. I want to get this official. So I put my real name into this website and Lex Creams came up. And I thought, <laughs> what the fuck? So I liked Lex, got rid of Creams. Gabor comes from Zsa Zsa Gabor. She's this old Hollywood actress. Just, I like the name. Added an E at the end. Because for you guys who don't know, Gabor is actually with G-A-B-O-R. Added an E at the end. Lex Gabor. He was born, died a couple of years later, and now he's back. The personality, I don't know. I, people always ask me this. I think Lex Gabor is my sense of humour magnified, amped up on acid. Not literally, but just literally amplified completely. Question number 30N. Favourite video that you have made? I remember the excitement of doing the fake tan video. I just remember sitting there thinking, right, I'm going to completely... Because these tutorials that I was doing, they were just piss takes of tutorials online. At that time, there was a lot of like makeup tutorials. Like, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to achieve basic daytime glow realness extravaganza and it was like really pretentious and I thought right these bitches are gonna get it so I used to literally just come up with these piss take parodies of these online tutorials so fake tab was definitely a fun one I think me and Alan used to have a lot of fun doing all the crazy ones which doesn't really narrow it down the jungle one where I'm eating all the food being disgusting that was fun we was in Alan's friend's house and I was just completely trash and a fair play to her Question number 14 who is your celebrity crush guys i've got to be honest i've got to sit here i'm not gonna lie to you i've never been one for celebrity crushes my celebrity crushes have been women i've never really looked up to a guy and thought oh. colin farrell over the years charlie from the only ways essex i used to think he was caved apart from that literally my crushes are like lindsay lohan anna nicole smith and all the trashy celebs that i love chanel it's question number 15, love. How are you so stinking cute? Ah! Well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> question number 16. What was you like in school? I think a lot of people would say I was crazy, ballsy, loud. <laughs> and I was. I remember, I wasn't naughty in school. In junior school, I was horrific. I was always pulled into the headmaster's office for pulling girls' skirts up, actually. In comp, didn't pay attention, chain smoking at the forest, bunking with my friends. I used to forge my own uh, letters, excuse me, from gym. <laughs> Fat cow. French, I gave up on. That was gone quicker than you could say bonjour, sinister. In retrospect, I was a bit of a lazy mother effer, but... Um, Hey ho, you learn. Question number 17. Jennifer Aniston or J-Lo? <laughs> Matthew Kidner, what a random ass question that I was not expecting from you. Uh, J-Lo, I gotta be honest, only for the music. Jennifer Aniston, you sit there on your throne. Y you know who you are, honey. You know who you are. But J-Lo, she's got a bum, she's got a long hair, she can whip her hair, she can dance, she's got the music. I'm a fan of J-Lo and she loves Britney. Anyone who loves Britney, 
I got you back. Question number 18. What was the last lie that you told? Uh, that we didn't have hobnobs left in the kitchen. My mother this morning asked, oh, pass me a hobnob for my cuppa. Bitch, you've been eating every single hobnob since this lockdown. So I said that <laughs> we ran out <laughs> and I ate all of them, all five. Question number 18. If you was locked in a room with any celebrity, who would it be? Oh, shit. Shit. I really don't know. There's so many, but they're like obvious ones. I don't want to be Britney Spears. I think I'd be too, um, not disappointed, but I just, I think I'd shit myself. Marilyn Monroe, actually. Maz, pop over. Let's have a cuppa. I want to know what old Hollywood was. Oh, that's such a terrible answer. I don't know. There's so many. Kurt Cobain, I'd love to have a sit down and chat with. Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe. Um, Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. Imagine how that little ciggy with her and a few drinks, like, aim. A little gossip, like, Amy Winehouse. Question number 20, and what do you think Victoria's secret is? She's a man. Question 21. Favourite Lady Gaga song, album. Also, sorry for the spam of questions. I know what, Charlie. Spamming up my mailbox. Like, no. Uh, Favourite Lady Gaga album, Art Pop. 100%. I plugged those earphones into my big fat earlobes. Excuse me. Magic. Absolute magic. It's like a drug trip. Crazy. I loved it. Song. Oh, I don't know. I love G.U.Y. I love Paparazzi. I love John Wayne. All of them. I think Madonna, Britney, Gaga, like all the sort of like gay icons that I love. I do have trouble like narrowing down. Like I could do like a top five maybe. Favourite one. Piss off. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to a gay. Make me choose a favourite Lady Gaga song. Who do you think about? Question 22, eh? Have you seen an African grey parrot by any chance? Right, Chanel, I'm trying to do a video, sis, and you're spamming up my mailbox. The attention's not about you, love. You've got to do five minutes. Fuck off, back to the canal! 23. Hey, I love your page. Question 24. Hey. Is that a question? But, hello. Nice to meet you. Question 25. Can some person change your life? Can someone change your life? Absolutely. I'ma change your life, I'ma change it. I'ma change your life, life. Question 26. When do my sister and I get to meet you? Oh my God. Well, um... Not at the moment, guys, because there is a lockdown, but look, I might organise a little meet-up in the future. Who knows? Bring your sis. Come along. Question 27. What does true friendship mean to you? Trust. The foundation of any friendship, trust. Also, I mean, like, I've known all my friends. I've met my friends in random different places throughout my life. I've met, I've known Alan since I was, like, in school. I've known some friends from college, work. Uh, but the foundation of all those relationships, trust. Question 28. How was your weekend? Well, it was shit. I'm not going to lie, it was crap. It started raining, um, couldn't really go out binge eating, and I gotta be honest guys, I'm just putting on weight. My weekend was nice, quite wet, crap weather. Nothing special, sis. You? Question 29. How long have you been vegan? I've been vegan since the beginning of this year, so January, so what, five months. I've been vegan for five months. I was vegetarian for 11 years before that. Why? Because I don't fucking agree with her. I remember being in this exact room. Also, guys, by the way, I'm sorry that we're back in this boring ass mise en scene, but on lockdown, there's not much places you can go. Otherwise, we'd be out in the woods filming it. Why would I be in the woods filming? It was in this room. I was sat in that corner on that desk, and a video popped up of what happens in like fur farms, factories. And it just, it changed my life. Even though it was nothing to do with meat per se, just watching how an animal was treated and what they went through to me completely. And I think the last item that I ate, Billy Bay ham. <laughs> so tacky. Billy Bay mother effing ham. Speaking of which, man, why was you buying Billy Bay ham? Cheap ass cow like. Farm foods like. And the last question, question number 30. Yeah. What was the last thing that annoyed you? My mother hogging up the bathroom again. Oh, guys, we're stuck in lockdown. She's doing my bloody hell. No, I think sharing a bathroom with someone is stressful. So when you're taking half an hour to sprog up in the morning, you've got me on that door. Get out! What do you mean?
What do you expect? Now, if you've enjoyed this video, I'm more than happy, all right? I don't mind bending the rules, doing a second follow-up video. So go to my Ask FM. It's going to be right there. It's right there. Beep, beep. I'll maybe do another follow-up Ask David video in the future. I hope, of course, you got to know me a bit better. I think there's a lot of questions in there that I've been asked over the years anyway. Where did Lex come from? Chanel Parrot is apparently making a cameo. So Chanel! I've enjoyed and thank you for all the questions. Yeah. Tune in next week for another fabulous video. Stay safe, stay indoors and stay fabulous.